Before we talk to you and Ben, I'm going to get to uh, your opponent here and, and his trainer and Renee for say, Renee, when you get a fighter ready to fight a guy like Tyson Fury, uh, oftentimes when I talk to trainers, and they're they're across the ring from elite all-time great fighters. It's hard to find sparring to prepare your fighter for for a guy like Tyson. How did you get Tom ready for this fight? And Tom's going to translate too. <laughs> Sorry, Benny. <laughs> Unsere Vorbereitung lief eigentlich sehr, sehr, sehr gut und optimal und wir hatten sehr gute Sparingspartner auch dabei und ähm, das hat schon gepasst, von, auch von seinen Bewegungen her und ich denke, wir sind optimal vorbereitet, also mehr kann ich dazu nicht sagen. Our training was very good, say my trainer, that's why for my English I hope I'll understand me here. Uh, and our training was very good and uh, we have hundreds of Sparingspartners, hundreds of hundreds and Hundreds of sparring yes, partners. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. I, I think 1,200. <laughs> that's what they need to emulate your hand speed, right? 100 guys at one time? <laughs> yeah, that's in my jam. <laughs> and you added for this um, team, I read in my notes that you added uh, Roberto Norris to your team for this Yes, game? yes, Roberto what, Norris. What has that addition been like? How has he helped you to prepare? Yes, uh, he um, made me harder, my body harder. He punched me when I sleep in my body every time. And, uh, he made me very hard and the technique, uh, let's say, uh, Rene and Roberto make the technique, my technique better. I learn boxing new. Yes. Well, yes, American this is style. Uh, American style, I hope. <laughs> I know we talked about yesterday drawing some inspiration from Andy Ruiz's performance over Anthony Joshua, but also you have to probably draw some inspiration too from when Max Schmeling beat Joe Lewis. Uh, have you looked at some of those tapes to kind of get you ready for some of these German heavyweights that have caused upsets in boxing? Have you drawn any inspiration from them? Because obviously Tyson is the favorite on Saturday night. <laughs> Sorry, my German's not so <laughs> Yes, of course. Uh, he, Axel Schulz is here and Max Schmeling. I love this, uh, both guys. And uh, now comes I am. Or I am. Uh, my English, sorry. But, yeah. Now comes your time, is what you're saying. Yeah, it's my time. Of course. And Bob, you're a historian of the sport. I mean, he can, there's a lot of fighters like he mentioned, you know, Max Milling that's here, Axel, that he can draw some information, uh, inspiration from because if fight fans just look at this fight on paper, maybe they're not giving him a chance. But you know more than anybody that, it, it, especially in the heavyweight division, one punch can change anything. Look, yes. a, a fighter like Tom doesn't look at what Max Schmeling did with Joe Lewis or what Mildenberger did with Ali or Axel Schultz did with Foreman. He looks at what he can do on Saturday night against Tyson Fury. That's what he's looking at. All these Germans that fought so well, we know, and made, made us, caused upsets or near upset. They happen to be German, but they're not Tom Schwartz, right? <laughs> Tom Schwartz is Tom Schwartz, and he knows what he can do. And he's the play, Bob. Play, Bob. Play, Bob. Play. That's right. That's right. And everybody well will know. And everybody will know. Um, anything else you'd like to say? Would you like to say anything in, in German before we get over to, to Tyson and his team for, for those watching? A message to your fans? Come tune in ESPN Plus on Saturday night. Sorry, what night. are you saying? <laughs> I saw it for my German fans. Or? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I love my German fans and my family is here. I love it so much. My family, my grandma. Yeah, thank you very much for coming. My wife, Tessa, thank you for all. Big opportunity, big night.